What's going on? Welcome back to Real World Tool Reviews. Today, on this beautiful spring day, I mean, I know it's February, but man, it's just about springtime. Things are blooming. Things are looking beautiful. The sun's out. The birds are chirping. Um, but, you know, March will come along and freeze and probably kill everything and ruin my good time. But, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Today we're going to talk about some of my favorite tools ever. And probably, well, I don't know if the my favorite. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's one of my favorite tools, vintage tools to collect. And that is X-Lite screwdrivers and nut drivers. Uh, we're going to talk about it today because I got I got some recently and my my collection has has been steadily growing. Um, first, I'm just going to talk about the flathead screwdrivers. You guys know how much I love flathead screwdrivers. And, uh, I just love these. There's something about these old X-Lite flatheads. Um, if you can get them in good condition, I mean, this is just a beautiful, beautiful flathead. Uh, this square shank and, uh, you know, it's just a really a high quality uh, alloy that they're using or whatever they they made this out of super super nice super pretty and a nice screwdriver uh, good to use and this um, they had a bunch of different handles but uh, like you know over the years I mean obviously it's the same handle but the markings this is the kind that's the best when you can find them you can this will never scratch off. It's it's below the the there's a layer of plastic over where it says X Lite USA right there. They're not all like that, but uh, man, sometimes I can find these in great condition. I found this one recently, and it's kind of the inspiration for this video. This long uh, Keystone flathead driver. Um, it's the same way. It's got the markings under a layer of plastic, but man, this is a a really useful one. I just love their flathead screwdrivers. Um, I have this cabinet tip one. Um, this one lives on the shop bench. It's one of my go-to flatheads in here. Um, and it's the same way. And then I always love to have these pocket ones. You see that little USA right there? This is a really nice pocket screwdriver. I got a bunch of these and I use this one all the time. This one lives in my little uh, mechanic kit that we did a video about my little DIY mechanic kit uh, you always got to have a pocket screwdriver when you're working on cars uh, so whenever I'm using that little case for working on my car I'll take this out and probably clip it on somewhere and you know it'll be good to go and then Harry J Epstein has these I actually bought this one off of Harry J Epstein this is a long little uh, cabinet tip so you know flathead screwdrivers uh, here's a little stubby flathead that I bought off of Harry J. Epstein. Now, this one's a newer one, and the this already starts is starting to scratch off. So, that's pretty lame. But, just the color of these, these, uh, these, that amber, yellow kind of color, they're just a beautiful, beautiful handle. And, uh, that's like the, the mark of Exolite, is that beautiful handle. Um, I want some more that have the Orchard Park, New York. This is an older one. And this Stubby Phillips is actually, it's like my go-to Stubby Phillips screwdriver. Um, it actually has these little ridges cut into the Phillips. I don't know if you can see that. But it, you know, it holds a, a screw fairly well. Uh, it's a great little Stubby Phillips. You know, everybody needs a, a Phillips number two Stubby. And um, this is the best one I've got. And it's a really nice one. Really nice. I just love the color on those. And uh, recently I got these two. Now I need a number two Phillips. I got a zero, a one, and I need a number two. These are black. Still very nice. But it's the, it's the colored handles in the end that really made me fall in love with these uh but 
really what, actually, that's really not entirely true. What really made me fall in love with these was these nut drivers. So we had, in a maintenance shop where I was working one time, we had, uh, you know, every maintenance shop just has some tools that are hanging up on a pegboard or something that have just been there forever. They don't really belong to anybody, you know. Uh, and there were a few of these. There was like a 7 sixteenths and a half inch of these x light nut drivers. And we would be in there working on stuff, and I would just always be grabbing these because of the hollow shaft. It was easier than pulling out a socket set or looking for a deep well socket or whatever. Uh, having this in here to fit down over a, a bolt to get on a nut or something, it was always so useful when we were working on stuff on the workbench. And I was like, what are these things? And I would, I'd used them hundreds of times without ever even looking at what they really were. But one day I was just thinking about how much I appreciated having these in the shop. And I looked at them and sure enough, I looked at the X-Lite USA and I started looking at them and I was like, man, these things really are nice. I mean, they're really nice screwdrivers. And I started thinking, could I buy a set of these? And I quickly found out that no, you can't. Um, you can't. You cannot buy the USA x lights anymore new. They sell the Chinese, they have a Chinese kind that they sell, and it's still expensive when you find it. It's like a hundred bucks or something. Crazy. Uh, but you can find the USA made ones on eBay. I bought this set on eBay for 50 bucks uh, a couple years ago, and I just take really good care of them. It's a collector's item for me, but I do use, I keep the the quarter inch, the five sixteenths, the three eighths, the seven sixteenths, half inch, and nine sixteenths up here on my workbench. They live right there in these empty slots. And they're super useful to have on your workbench, but they just have beautiful colors and they're just really, really, really nice. There's something about them that just makes you happy when you use them. And you can find them at estate sales and stuff. A lot of times they're really jacked up and these handles are breaking down and starting to stink. You know, this acetate stinks after a while. But these ones, as you can see, are in beautiful, I mean, they're in, in perfect condition. And that's why I was willing to pay 50 bucks. And it's, uh, you know, it's just a really nice little case that it comes in. This is the part number for the set that you want. It's Exolite, the HS6-18, hollow shaft nut driver set. Um, and it's Apex, North Carolina, made in the USA, uh, Cooper Industries. Now, they made that, there was an Exolite before Cooper bought it. Apex, North Carolina, that's Apex Tool Group. And uh, somebody in the comments will probably know more than me, but Apex Tool Group is who owns like Gear Wrench and a uh, bunch of those brands now that they make a bunch of Chinese stuff and Taiwan stuff and they own Exolite now and um, they have moved it overseas to China but before they did that it was Cooper Industries and before Cooper Industries it was just Exolite and they were it was um it was tools that were made to work on televisions and electronics when they first started having televisions come out and stuff. Uh, you know, there were guys that came and worked on TVs and they made little pliers. Uh, actually, I've got some. I've got some right here. These were, these are kind of made for, for working on electronics, you know. And uh, these little cutters and these little needle nose, are, they're so useful for everything. These Exolytes, um, I actually have another pair. I keep these in different spots just because they're so useful. I love this little red pair. Um, but they, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll throw these in the video too because they're great tools. These are some of my favorite pliers ever, these little needle nose guys. I was so happy when I found this red pair, uh, the 378M x Lite USA. They have a great little spring mechanism there. It's not as annoying as it as a regular spring and then these um, these little flush cuts they have the same type they're good too 
But there's these tools are laying around, you know, at estate sales. You can find them. And they're just a really great collector's item, and you can use them because they're super sweet. Everybody needs to have hollow shaft nut drivers. Uh, working on all kinds of stuff. Toilet bolts. Um, use 7 16 and half inch, and that's awesome to get up on the toilet bolt and get on the nut to tighten it or loosen it or hold it. Um, that works really well. I use them every time I work on a toilet. Um, I'll use a 7 16 all the time working on light fixtures because so many light fixtures have the quarter 20 uh, bolt with the nut that holds up a light fixture or whatever. Um, and that is always a 7 16 nut. So I always keep a 7 16 I have the VACO ones that I use all the time. Uh, the VACO and Exolite are kind of, they were similar, like competing kind of tools from back in the day. And I love both of them. Um, I use the VACOs more all the time because I, I bought those newer and I bought them to use more and abuse more. Uh, these ones are, I kind of don't, I kind of take care of them and I don't want anything bad to happen to them. So they live in the shop and they get used, but not as harshly. But uh, yeah, hollow shaft nut drivers, they're just a game changer as far as I'm concerned. I think everybody ought to have them. Magnetic nut drivers are good too, but I think these ones are more versatile. And when you need them, they're absolutely fantastic. The last one I'll show you is this. Now this is a Jensen USA. I believe that it was just rebranded Jensen. Um, it's made by x -Lite. Obviously, it's the very same thing. A lot of, I've seen these before that say x -Lite on them. Um, but they're the, it's the 99 set. So it says that if it says 99, they sold these in big sets. And you can find them still on eBay and stuff, but they're stupid expensive. They have all these, uh, all these bits and stuff. This is an 11 millimeter nut driver. It's just what I found at a sale one time. And I bought it, you know, for next to nothing because it was in such good shape. And I hope someday I can find, they got Phillips and Flat and Allen and all the nut drivers, uh, Torx. They got everything that fits into this. And it's so, it fits in there so good. It's so solid. I would love to have a full set of this. So that's what I'm really looking for next is a, is a full set of the 99 set. That would just be super sweet. And uh, I'd like one that says x -Lite, but this Jensen's cool too. I mean, it looks exactly the same, so I'm not too worried about it. But anyway, these are really fun tools to collect. Uh, the colors are beautiful, and the quality on them is, is really, really good. The only thing that I don't like about the screwdrivers is they roll. They roll pretty bad. You put them on a on a workbench, and they roll, and they will fall. You know, whatever. But uh, that's okay. This flathead is really great. It's just the just the look at that. It's like a lightsaber. You know, the shininess on that thing. It's just it's just a it's a very well made screwdriver shaft right there. You just gotta. You got to uh, love and admire that. And really, I mean, you look at these guys here. Take a look at this big 9 16 You look at that metal coating that they put on here or whatever. It's really beautiful. And uh, you can see it goes all the way through. You know, they drill all the way through that shaft. So you can... Put something all the way down in there, so you know you got a a, th a threaded rod with a nut on it all the way down. You can go all the way up in there and get it without having to go get a deep well socket or something. Um, this is just a lot more handy in a lot of situations for plumbing and electrical and just working on all kinds of stuff out there uh, in the maintenance world. I've just been a huge fan of hollow shaft nut drivers and the X-Lite ones in, in particular because they're just they're just really nice to use. So anyway, uh, get out there and try and find you some X-Lite screwdrivers and nut drivers and uh, pliers.
they're great tools to have, great tools to use, and a fun collector's item because of the colors and uh, just, you know, they were a popular thing back in the day. They don't really make them anymore, so it's, uh, it's a fun thing to collect. So anyway, thanks for watching.